Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. In this example, we have this series and we have to check whether this series is convergent or divergent. Let me write the given series first. We have, we have, I will call it as series summation n, n running from 1 to infinity. So this is equal to summation n running from 1 to infinity. So they have given a series in this form, but I will try to express in a form of summation. So let us try to find a formula for that. See, if you observe the denominator 4, 9, 16, 25, all these are perfect squares. So definitely denominator is perfect square. So denominator, but see, we cannot write n square directly because if I put n is equal to 1, 1 square is 1 and 1, 1 is not a denominator of first term. So that's why we write n plus 1 bracket square. If I put n is equal to 1, we will have 2 square, which is 4, n is equal to 2, 3 square, which is 9. That means, yes, it is perfect now. See, what about numerator? 3, 5, 7, 9, all these are odd numbers. So, I should write here 2n plus 1. Okay. So, this is a given series we have and we have to check whether it is convergent or divergent. I am going to use limit comparison test to solve this problem. Okay. So see, uh, for limit comparison test, we need to have some one more series. We compare with that. Okay. And then we decide this given series is convergent or divergent. So using this one, what do you think about uh, next series or second series? See, what will I do? I will expand the denominator. So you will get an idea. So summation n running from 1 to infinity to n upon, if you expand uh, this bracket square, find the bracket square n square plus 2n plus 1. Okay, so this is a given series we have. So, of using, observing this one, we have to find, we have to consider the second series. Okay, see what will I do? I will do some rough work here. Okay, see if you observe numerator denominator, what will I do? I will consider the term with highest power. So, here the term with highest power is 2n and in denominator, we have a term with highest power is n square. See, n can easily cancel from numerator denominator, so 2 by n. So, 2 is constant, no need to consider. So, simply I will consider a series summation 1 by n. That will be my second series. Okay, so let, let summation bn, second series is summation bn, which is summation 1 by n running from 1 to infinity. So, you know well what we do in limit comparison test. In previous videos already we have seen that is we consider limit n tends to infinity. Let me write it here. So consider what we do. We find the value of this limit. Limit n tends to infinity n upon b n. Let us put the values and find the value of this limit. Limit n tends to infinity. What is our n? 2n plus 1 upon n square plus 2n plus 1 divided by b n. Our b n is 1 by n, right? So, see that n is in denominator of denominator. So, it will go to the numerator. Let me write it here. Yes, we have some space. Let us use. So, this is equal to limit n tends to infinity. This n will go to numerator. If you take product with this one, we will have 2n square plus n divided by the denominator is n square plus 2n plus 1. So, you know well how to find the value of this limit. We consider the highest power here n square in denominator also the highest power is n square. So, simply we divide numerator and denominator by n square. Okay, what I am going to do? I am going to divide numerator denominator by n square. Let us see what will happen. Limit n tends to infinity. I will divide separately. Divide first term by n square 2, divide second term by n square 1 by n, divide this one by n square 1, divide this one by n square 1, 2 by n plus n, 1 by n square. Let us apply the limit. So, this is equal to 2 plus 2 is constant, n tends to infinity, 1 upon infinity is 0, you know. So, 2 plus 0 in denominator 1, this is 0, this is 0 by applying the limit. So, we have simply 2. So, 2 is a positive real number, okay, and positive finite real number. So, you know that in limit comparison test, we say if value of this limit is finite and positive, 
then we say series summation an and br converge or diverge together let me write the conclusion so therefore by limit comparison test limit comparison test by limit comparison test what can we write summation an and summation bn converge or diverge together together that means either both of them are convergent or both of them are divergent okay so let us discuss about bn or uh, see let me remove this part so we'll have some more space to write so here we can say here here summation bn which is summation 1 by n is p series you remember now that p series p series means series which is in the form summation 1 by n raised to p so what is power of n 1 so i should mention p series with p is equal to 1 so we have already proved this result when we have p series with p greater than 1 then it is convergent and if p less than or equal to 1 then we see the series is divergent okay provided p is positive real number see p is equal to 1 we get so therefore what we say therefore summation bn is divergent series is what divergent series since it is p series with p is equal to 1 and by comparison test we say what we say either summation n and bn both of them are convergent or both of them are divergent so out of these two we got one series summation bn is divergent so definitely summation n is also divergent so therefore summation n is divergent series divergent series i will call this statement as uh, star okay using star uh, actually we are writing so from star summation n that means given series right so in this way we proved the given series is divergent make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye